Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time once again for my girl, Boss Up's deputy editor, Danny Canada, to give us all of the hot tea that's piping right now in Hollywood, honey. And I yes. mean, it's hot Girl. and piping in Hollywood. Ooh. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and, and dive let's, right let's on get into, into it. it. Let's get it's into been it. all over social media. Yes. Come on, Nicole Girl. Murphy. Yes. Ooh. And Anton, Anton. Fuqua, baby. What Girl. the fuck? Okay. And, and this is supposed to be a family. This is a friendly family, family. kiss. Uh, so Nicole Murphy and Antoine Fuqua were spotted in Italy, obviously kissing. He is still married to the very beautiful Lila Rashawn. And according to Nicole Murphy, she was like, oh, I just ran into my friend. You know, this was just a smooch between friends. Mind you, there are multiple pictures of them kissing. Well, Ran into a friend. A friend. Well, both of them had, he had on a towel and she had on a bathing right, suit. Right, right. But I guess that's how you run into your friends by the pool and you know, you just give them a kiss I have now. a lot of male friends. Me I do. Too. I don't kiss them like that. Do you kiss your I do. You know, I give them the nice church hug. You know, you don't get, you know. Right, you don't get that close. That's real personal. Very, very personal, personal. Very personal. Now, uh, there were some other things that Lisa Ray jumped in, yes. in, in okay. on this. So Lisa Ray did not hold back. Lisa Ray actually commented and she was like, Nick, Nikki, you're doing this again. Again. Oh, so people, again. Again. So people were like, well, what is Lisa Ray talking about? Her sister DeBrat actually clarified on Dish Nation and she said that this is true that Nicole Murphy actually went after Lisa Ray's ex husband, Michael Missick, while they were still married. Yes. This is, so this is true. This whole rumor thing has been out for a while. Back in 2007, the New York Daily News reported on this, and they said that they were spotted kissing in Turks and Caicos. What you say? Hey, girl, and they were trying to like not be seen by anyone, but this is being been a, seen by but everyone. Being seen. So this is a long standing rumor that Nicole Murphy had a history with allegedly with Lisa Ray's ex husband. Oh girl, Nicole girl. is very busy, honey. Right now. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well let's just go ahead and move on. Let's talk a little bit about Jay Z and Meek Mills. Yes. They've come together, do a yes. great collaboration. So Tell us about it. Jay Z and Meek Mill, they are announcing this new collaboration between Rock Nation and Meek Mill's Dream Gene Chasers label. Mm -hmm. So basically they have a new record label together and they are looking for hungry new artists. So Meek Mill is out here celebrating. Come on, Meek. He just had his two thousand eight gun conviction overturned. Yes. So yes. he is having a great time. He's, he's living his week. best he's life. He's living his best life and I'm happy for him. Yeah. You know, now he is like a prison advocate. He's talking about gun control. He's, Absolutely. He's really doing his thing. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Now someone else who's doing their thing, they're, they're saying, you know, I, we know that um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, yes. they're actually in filming right yes, now for the next filming. season. Who is this new person? Okay, there's this beautiful girl. Her name is Latoya Forever. She is a YouTuber, real name Latoya Ali. So she has like hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube. And they're saying that she is the next Real Housewife of Atlanta. Mm. She has been spotted out with these ladies. She actually did a video with Candy Burris. Okay. And at the end of the video, Candy was like, oh, we should get you on the show. And Latoya was like, oh yeah, get me on the show. So Ooh. all of the Real Housewives blogs and Instagram pages are certain that this is our new girl. Okay. She actually just well, do we know anything Atlanta. about her? Okay, so she just moved to Atlanta. She's originally from Canada. Okay. Um, she has a husband and two kids. She's currently pregnant with her third child. Okay, then. And her recent caption said, I've been in housewife mode lately. So that's definitely fueling oh, girl. those rumors. The people know they think yeah. they're encrypted, girl. Right. We, we know what that means. Well, so. listen, let's talk a little bit about Marlo Hampton. She threw yes. a, a, an event. <laughs> she just launched her new wig line. Yes. Congrats to Marlo for yes. that. Yes. Beautiful but wigs. the people said, Kenya Moore came right on in there strolling with all her hair care products girl. and said that, that Marlo Kenya. needed the edge grow. Girl, Kenya Moore is so shady. So uh, Marlo Hampton had this big wig <laughs> launch, beautiful wig launch, and in walks Kenya Moore. As you know, they used to be friends and no right. longer friends anymore. Right, right. And Kenya Moore has her own hair care line called More Hair Care. So Kenya comes in with all her products. She actually brought some. Without permission. Uh, girl, without permission, brought some edge growth. And she was basically saying that Marla might need it. Marla clapped back and said, well, does, it, does this cover the gray hairs, Kenya? Is, is that what it's going to do? So, Ooh. you know, we're good to see that play out this season. But this looks like it's going to be a fun season. Yeah. Of the of well, you know, it was shady, but it's not. It was, it's not. It was a little it's not fun malicious. Shade. You know, but malicious. It's a, it's a shade. It's yes. not malicious shade. It's fun shade. So let's talk a little bit about Lil Scratch and what went on <sighs> at the reunion oh my for Love and Hip Hop ATL. Okay, so much mess. So, you know, Lil Scrappy has a child with Erica Dixon. Correct. Um, Imani. And so during the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta reunion, they went head to head over child support. Basically, Erica was saying that he's three months behind on child support, and she actually showed host Nina Parker her phone to have the receipts. Oh, she sent. has receipts. She had receipts. She but said, Scrappy says that's not true. He now. said it's not true. He pulled out his phone himself, was like, look at the dates. It looks like I'm up to date. But mm. everyone is kind of on Erica's side with this. Really? Things got really nasty. He called her a basic baby mama 
and he What's was shading basic her. Baby mama? It's, it's levels to the baby mama. I guess, I, it's like basic, <laughs> moderate, above average. I don't oh, know. Okay, I, then I, the queen, I, baby the mama. Queen, baby mama. Supreme. Baby, oh, supreme. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's a whole the grand dame of baby mama. Grand dame. They, oh, okay, they didn't tell us about that. Um, but, but I'm hearing that people are trying to say he's still in love with her. They're saying that he is so worried about Erica. So Erica just had twins with right. a mystery man. We do not know who her baby's father is. Right. And Scrappy brought that up like, well, where's your baby daddy? Like, and everybody's like, well, why are you so worried? You know, you have a whole wife, you have a whole new family. Mm -hmm. Why are you worried about Erica Dixon and her Oh business? my God, well, he loves his family, he really he does. does. But really quickly, one person who's not living their best life this yes. week is Lil Duval. Now, what did he say about the black oh, people here? Oh, girl. The black girls and the oh, girls. girl. Lil Duval, comedian Lil Duval is known for trolling people, right? Mm -hmm. This week, he actually took it to a new level. He said he doesn't like big, curly, bushy hair, which sounds a lot like hair that grows out of a black woman's scalp. So right. people were very offended by that. He tried to backtrack and say, well, I don't like it on white women either. And to be clear, I was talking about big, big bushy wigs, but people aren't buying it. And they're like, why are you so worried about what we got going on up here? It's just, it's just strange. I'm gonna try to roll with Lil Duval mm -hmm. and just say he really didn't mean it that way. Yeah. He had, you know, he's been on the show a couple mm -hmm. of times. He's brought his daughter to the show. She's he, he beautiful. And she's a troll. beautiful brown girl. Yes, so yes. I'm hoping that's not true. But anyway, baby girl, thank you yes. so much for joining us here at The mm -hmm. Circle. We always love having you. And for more stories like this, you want to follow her on Bossip on all social media platforms.